By and by, Charles Albert Tindley, the father of gospel music, written by Carol Boston Weatherford and illustrated by Brian Collier. My life is a sermon inside a song. I'll sing it for you. Won't take long. Berlin, Maryland, 1851, Charles and Hester had a son. Father enslaved, but mother free. The law spared me from slavery. A little tyke when mama died. Can't remember if I cried. Raised by an aunt, no mama's arms. Minding masters hired out to farms. I think of children with parents at home while mine are gone and I'm alone. Chance in the field at break of dawn, keep your hand on that plow, hold on, hold on. Spirituals, first Bible that I heard, I yearned for more to read the word. Newspaper scraps lit by glowing pine knots, Lines of type absorbed my thoughts. Keep your lamps bright and burning and your vessels filled with oil. Letters and words like tiny seeds bloom to life as I learned to read. Patchwork pants and wrinkled shirt, barefoot, trekked five miles to church. Beams of heaven as I go through this wilderness below. Guide my feet in peaceful ways. Turn my midnight into days. The church folk were all wearing shoes, but my soiled feet hid beneath the pews. The preacher nearly called my name. He asked, who reads? Be not ashamed. He beckoned children down the aisle. My journey seemed 100 miles. I've been buked and I've been scorned. I've been talked about shores you born. My heart raced as I held the book. My palms were wet and my voice shook. But as I read the Bible aloud, I had never felt so proud. And when my verse came to an end, the church folks nodded and said, Amen. I've slippers in the kingdom. Ain't of that good news? I vowed to learn one thing each day, trusting God to lead my way. Farmhand by day, student by night, miles to trek, to read and write. As years went on, the more I yearned for time to quench my thirst to learn. I married Daisy after the war. We moved to Philly, wanting more. Two jobs, long hours to keep us fed. At night, I dreamed of books I'd read. Night school, then God's call to preach. Was the cloth within my reach? Private tutors, courses by mail, tests that others swore I'd fail. Granted knowledge that God bestowed, I passed the test and donned the robe. Rich in spirit, but not in pay. Our table bare, we pause to pray. Just remember in his word how he fed the little bird. Knock, knock. Neighbor brought a meal, proving miracles are real. Every Sunday, 11 o'clock, I fed a growing hungry flock. I still heard spirituals of long ago, remembered how they moved me so. Hardships woven into hymns I wrote, every lyric, every note. When I do the best I can, and my friends misunderstand, thou who knowest all about me, stand by me. Uphill road, then an open door, to pastor where I scrub the floor. Fleeing harsh discrimination, thousands northbound, great migration, factory jobs, a shot despair, 
a better home. I'm going there. Instead of pay they'd hope to earn, big city blues at every turn. Nation gripped by the Great Depression, hungry masses starved for blessings. With open hearts and open doors, my church fed and clothed the poor. We even offered families loans, helped them purchase their first homes. Folks called me the people's pastor. I aimed to serve my Lord and master. We are taught to love each other as one should treat a brother. We must do by one another. Over time, my small flock grew, 15,000 in the pews. Children filled the balcony. Their beaming faces lifted me. Mid-sermon, I burst into song, my voice encircling the throng. Weekends, I led praying bands, believers singing, clapping hands. The storm is passing over, hallelujah. We formed a book club to uplift, an orchestra to nurture gifts. I wrote a hymnal, Soul Echoes, mostly songs that I composed. As if penned by God's own hand, my hymns rang across the land. Though I began as my own teacher, I was crowned the Prince of Preachers. The church I led now bears my name, my songs an everlasting flame. I know the Lord will make a way and I'll overcome someday. Amen. Charles Albert Tinley was born in 1851 to an enslaved father and a free mother who died when he was very young. Tinley was just seven when his father hired him out to live and work alongside farmhands and enslaved people. The African American spirituals that Tinley heard in the fields introduced him to Bible stories. Forbidden by his employers to have books, Tinley used newspaper scraps to learn the alphabet and spelling. Later, after working all day, he walked seven miles for lessons from a school teacher. By age 17, Charles could read and write. As a young man in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Tinley worked as a bricklayer's helper, went to school at night, and bought every book he could. He took courses by mail at a Hebrew synagogue and with private tutors. In 1901, Tinley began composing hymns that drew on his faith and everyday experiences. The composer of dozens of hymns, he was truly the father of gospel music. In 1902, Tinley became pastor of East Calvary Methodist Episcopal Church, where he had been janitor. Sunday mornings, worshipers packed the 3,200-seat sanctuary to hear him preach. Known as the People's Pastor and the Prince of Preachers, he started a soup kitchen and clothing ministry that continue today. In 1927, his church was renamed Tinley Temple. Tinley died in 1933. When Tinley died, he left a rich musical legacy. His best known songs include, We'll Understand It Better By and By, Leave It There, The Storm Is Passing Over, and I'll Overcome Someday, which inspired the civil rights anthem, We Shall Overcome. <laughs> 